Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna do some more testing today on the Pocket Pro. Uh, I've had the Pocket Pro in the garage for uh, about almost two and a half days, just data logging temperature. I just wanted to try the, the data logging features over time and see how well the battery holds up, um, what kind of information you can get. So we'll open up the app. First thing I've noticed is it doesn't look like the battery has gone down at all. It's still completely full. No battery consumption. That's interesting. And I've had it actually data logging, like I said, for about two and a half days almost. <clears throat> so once you first turn it on, click measure, and we'll go straight to the logger. You can see the wheel's still spinning. That means it's still doing the data logging. So here's our, here's our information over time. I'll go ahead and click the fit button. So you can see how it gets the uh, cools off and then warms up, cools off, warms up. And then to actually see what those values are, we'll just hold our finger here on any spot. So this is telling us this is that particular spot is 40 hours and 8 minutes into the test, into the data log. Temperature at that point is 84.92 degrees. If I just tap on that line and then I can grab it and move it around. So the got down to 68. High point in the day, 85 degrees in the garage. So that's a pretty long test. So you can see now if I go all the way to the end, I'm at 58 hours and 9 minutes. Currently 70 degrees. I haven't done the calibration of the temperature sensor, so I am interested to see how close that is. We'll do that in another video. But And let's see, I'm taking samples. Let me click mode. I'm taking a sample every 30 seconds. So that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, if you're in the process of data logging and you attempt to go to a different mode, multimeter, it'll give you a message that says logging. So it's not going to work until you stop the data logging. Uh, let's check oscilloscope. Down here it says logging. I can go back to logger. Might take it a minute and I do get that disconnect once in a while still. Uh, Pocket has informed me that they've got a uh, a fix for that in the works. Uh, probably just a firmware update that'll correct that. So I'm going to stop the data log and I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'll hit the save button here. It says history saved. Now if I go back to the historical information, it's 140 degrees Fahrenheit internal sensor. Um, we had 30 seconds per interval. Channel 1, that was the, the time that I stopped the test. You know, and of course I can pull that back up by hitting the eye. Take a look at it again. The next data log I want to do, so I took an old power strip, I sliced the insulation off of it and I pulled out the hot lead. Put a couple of quick disconnects on it. I can also pop these off. I can plug them back together and it would just work as normal. Uh, I could put a clamp on amp meter around this. For this particular test, what I, how I did it is I popped these quick disconnects off. And I use the two uh, uh, adapters, banana plug adapters, for, that came with the pocket. Same thing with the, the negative. I've got that one there. And then I can plug these into here. And now we'll plug this into my uh, Starlink. Pop out this. So now I can just plug this right into that adapter. Plug the negative into here. And now I can get an amperage measurement. So when we do the data logging for amperage, of course we're going to put the meter on amperage. Got my Pocket Pro wired up to my Starlink to measure amperage. <clears throat> let's start doing a data log. So let's go to the logger. We will, let's see, set up for AC for amperage. 
We'll do 200 milliamps per division. Let's do a one second interval. We'll do it for an hour or so. That should be enough information to do a, to get a good average for power consumption. So let's go ahead and start that. All right. So that's data logging. What are we seeing here? About half an amp. there 0.49 okay we'll let that go for uh, about an hour it's been a couple hours of data logging now let's take a look and see what kind of information we've gathered from the pocket pro for the uh, Starlink amper to draw all right we're connected go back into logging mode the wheel is still spinning, so that means it's still data logging. All right, so now we've collected some data. Nice. Okay, now if I click the fit button, that'll fit all the data into one. Uh, but if I turn the fit off, then I can uh, pinch and zoom. Get a more detailed look. So let's pull that up. So half an amp. We got a 0.69 there and a spike. All right, I'm going to uh, let's turn that back on. All right, I'm going to stop this data log now, and we're going to start a fresh one. And then I'm going to do a speed test. Go to mode. I'm going to do it every half second. Start a new one. So that one actually did do it quite a spike. Interesting. 0.8 amps. That's the highest I've seen. And then the download download test stopped right here. Now it's doing the upload test. So that spot right there where you see the bar, that's where it stopped the download test and started the upload test. Now the upload test just finished. Upload test finished right here. So that's interesting. So start of the download, end of the download, and the start of the upload, and then the upload finished here so 0.81 and that's the highest I think I've seen let's inspect these data logs and I want to show you if we go into the logger bring up a historic log and if I select the log I can share that I can export that as a CSV file. I'm going to export that to my Google Drive. You have to allow it. <clears throat> Once you've exported that data log, now you have a CSV file with all that information, all those events are specific, then you can analyze that data more thoroughly within the uh, spreadsheet. Looking for min, max, You can find the average, min, max, and I'll show you what kind of information we can gather from this. This is all uh, my Starlink dish system. You can make uh, trend charts with this. So as you can see, this Pocket Pro data logging feature is quite useful. Um, being able to extract the information to a CSV file is, uh, is pretty awesome. The Starlink average is about 0.53 amps. Uh, hit a maximum of 0.81 amps and then a minimum of 0.34 amps. The other one I did that was about two hours long, uh, that one ended up with an average amperage of about 0.41 amps. And uh, also I did uh, another uh, amperage test just on the multimeter mode 
as you can see here in this screenshot it's got a, uh, a minimum of 0.29 amps and a maximum of 0.68 amps while I was doing this this wasn't for a long period of time because you can't uh, you have to have the multimeter on on your uh, cell phone while you do the multimeter mode with the functions activated so you can get the, the minimum and maximum uh, values recorded. So I just did a screenshot of that, but uh, so that's also a very useful feature. And answers the question a lot of people had about the Starlink of what the, uh, what the amperages are. You know, people are comparing this, trying to compare it to a normal router, but they're not taking into consideration that this is not a normal router. You're You've got a satellite communication system that's talking to outer space, basically transmitting, uh, uploading and downloading data back and forth to space. So uh, I would entirely expect this expect this system to draw more amperage than your than your average router um, on your network. So I appreciate you watching the video. And if you've uh, enjoyed it, uh, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. And until uh, the next time, take care.